Good morning, Titans. Today is Friday, December 6th. I'm Aliyah Roundsville, filling in for Jamie Hughes. And I'm Lexi Hope, filling in for Brooke Carrick. After a quick one-week break, we have a lot of news for you. So, let's start the show. With more than 13 years on the roller skating rink, one of our very own Titans is skating her way to the national championships. Aaliyah and Jamie filed the story. As she glides across the freshly waxed rink, junior Ali Kiger practices to prepare for the national divisions. She will celebrate her 13th year of roller skating and hopes to win the title of national champion this year. I started when I was about three, and then my sister um, started becoming more serious and taking lessons, and I promised my parents that once my sister performed for the first time, I would start skating, and I did. I went through with that promise, and that's how I started. For the past 10 years, her skating home has been Roller King on Riverside Avenue in Roseville. Kiger practices six days a week for two to three hours in the evening, and for five hours on Sunday. I do pretty much, besides school, schedule my life around skating. Um, because I am in here so much. It, I go from school to here to home to do homework and then I repeat and I, that's been my cycle for years and it's not going to change anytime soon. It's been a big part of our life. We had, we had no idea that um, competitive roller skating even was out there and because we just had them start just so that they can learn to skate. It teaches discipline, it teaches responsibility, it helps you organize your time and as she's continued on into higher levels of skating it requires more practice time so she has to organize and plan out her days so that she can get everything done and still get the practice that she needs. Kiger, who has been skating since she was three years old, is in the sophomore division and has accumulated nine national gold medals. My first gold medal was back in 2006 at my first nationals when I was eight um, and that pretty much started it all. My favorite nationals was back in 2012 um, in Lincoln, Nebraska. I went in with three events and I brought home three gold medals and that was the biggest accomplishment I think I've ever made. Kiger has been training with coach Pat Jakes for 10 years. Jakes has won the title of world champion multiple times. I got Allie when she was about five and a half or six, and she was just this cute little girl. Her feet were bigger than she was, and I used to call her Allie Oops, because she, every time she took four steps, she fell. And then she blossomed into this wonderful worker. She has a great work ethic. If I give her something to do, she delivers. If she doesn't understand, even as a child, she would come back and ask a question. So we had a really good rapport from the beginning. Through skating, Kiger has met one of her best friends, Megan Rosenberg. She is also in the junior world class division with Kiger. We have a very close relationship. We're like best friends. And even when we're on the floor, we like to help each other. And when we do get competitive, but it's a friendly competitiveness. And it's fun. I love skating with Allie. As for her future in skating, Kiger hopes to continue even in college. But first, her ultimate goal is to be crowned a national champion, allowing her to be on the world team and compete in the world championships in Barcelona, Italy in 2014. I don't know if I'll be skating into my 20s. I might, I might stop, go to college, and come back later because a lot of people do that. Um, but I really want to make a world team. That's been my goal since I was five, and it's still my goal. It's been my main goal in my whole life, and my life will be complete when I reach that goal. Signing off for your Channel 5 Titan TV News, I'm Aaliyah Roundsville. The dance show past to present premiered last night. If you missed last night's show, there are still performances tonight and tomorrow night in the large gym at 7 p.m. Tickets are $10 at the door. The first ever Rocks game night is Thursday from 6 to 8 p.m. on the football field. If you're not participating, it is free to watch. Today is the last day to sign up, so visit the student store during lunch with your team of 15 players. It costs $5 to participate. If your team wins, then all members will receive a free ticket to Winter Ball. Tomorrow, the competition cheer team will host a breakfast. I talked to senior Anissa Romo to get more information. So tomorrow morning, the competition cheer team will be hosting a breakfast with Santa. It will be from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. and it will be $5. You'll be getting a breakfast with the oranges and sausage and pancakes and all that good stuff. And it will be really great to bring your siblings because we'll be having a little crafts corner with cheerleaders. And if you also bring a canned food item, you can take a picture with Santa. Although it's past the deadline, there's still space for senior ads in the yearbook. However, space will be sold on a first-come, first-served basis. 
If you have any questions, talk to your book advisor, Mr. Pete LeBlanc, in room S206. After a stressful audition process, congratulations to the 12 new regional honor band members from Antelope High. Emma Forrester, Brianna Rogers, David Yaskinsi, Daniel Blanchard, Carson Oaks, Rachel Thaxton, Olivia Flournoy, Javid Meeks, Michael Fu, Daniel Meggs, R.C. Isla, and Tanner Miller. Almost all of the other schools in the Northern California region, with the exception of Granite Bay, had only one or two band members accepted. The National Honor Society Talent Show is scheduled up for Wednesday at 6 p.m. in the cafeteria. Tickets are $7 at the door, or you can bring in a new unwrapped toy to get in for free. All profits and donations will be donated to charity and the performing arts programs. Now, here's an infomercial created by Jimmy Hughes. Okay, show us what you got. Megan, we need better people. Monique Gamoni. Monique Gamoni. The National Honor Society Talent Show is Wednesday, December 11th in the cafeteria from 6 o'clock to 8 o'clock. Tickets go on sale this week. Um, they are $5 pre-sale and $7 at the door. Um, we have a lot of great talent, so come out and see Monique Gamoni. We have Max Contreras, a lot of great people. Um, it's going to be a great show. So also, if you bring a toy, an unwrapped um, toy, you get in free. It's free admission, and it all goes to charity. So come out and see us. Can food drive results are in setting a new record this year, collecting 1,522 cans. Congratulations to the third period band, which took the lead with 125 cans. If you signed up for the practice ACT test, be sure to be at school by 7 a.m. tomorrow for the test. If you have any questions, please email counselor Mr. Sandeep Panu at spanu at rjuhsd.us. The band will be part of the annual Festival of Lights Parade in Auburn tomorrow. We will have highlights of the parade on next week's show. Keep an eye out for a special surprise in your neighborhood tonight. The choir program will be performing next week. Reporter Jamie Hughes talked to choir instructor Mrs. Jennifer Fulkerson to get more information. Choir concerts are this coming Monday and Tuesday at Wood Creek High School. That's December 9th and 10th. The concert starts at 7 p.m. Trouble Choir, Show Choir, and Baritone Choir are all, are all performing. We're doing Christmas carols, we're doing spirituals, we're doing um, Hanukkah songs, all sorts of different music is going to happen. We have dancing, we have singing. It's going to be a wonderful show. Tickets are $5 this week or $8 next week. You can buy them at the door for $8. You can get them from Mrs. Fulkerson at the choir room in CTE 6 or Miss Carol at Student Services. And we hope to all see you there. Now over to Jamie in this week's Sports Corner. This is Sports Corner. Good morning, Titans. I'm Jamie Hughes with this week's Sports Corner. The varsity basketball team defeated Rio Linda 72-36 to in the first round of the West Campus Classic last night. Junior Mr. Harriel scored 16 points and Dennis Golovko scored 12. There will be, they will play West Campus tonight at 5 p.m. Reporter Marianne Sargas caught up with Coach Rob Richards before yesterday's game. Uh, we're going to be going down our JV and varsities at the uh, West Campus Tournament down in Sacramento. And uh, we open up with Rio Linda tonight at 6.30. Um, and then Friday, if we win Thursday, we'll play Friday. We'll see how it goes with that. But it's, you know, first tournament of the year. And uh, it'll be a good way for us to kind of gauge where we're at for the season with uh, all the new guys we have. And we'll go from there. The wrestling team won't start Capital Athletic League meets until we come back from break. So please stay tuned for the coming weeks for updates on the boys' and girls' wrestling teams. Student government is now selling Titan tutus for the red zone. Chris Howell and Batch Desan put, put together this commercial. Titan tutus are too cool. See you at the basketball red zone. 
That's all I have for you this week, Titans. Have a great weekend. Now back to Aaliyah and Lexi. Well, that's all we have for you today. I think we did a great job anchoring for our first time. Don't you, Aaliyah? Yeah, I had a lot of fun. Brooke and Jamie will be back next week. Until then, stay warm and have a great weekend, Titans. That's the news, and, and we're, we're out of here. here.